Is there a fine line between optimism and reality? Depending on how much work a person wants to put in, they can make their dreams come true. All the time, people break records and make professional sports teams. I look up to baseball stars such as Brave Ruth and Jose Altuve. I have always been optimistic, but now I am worried about just making the high school team. Our high school team has amazing baseball players, and also, the people in my league are great at baseball. Knowing that people in my little league are better than me at baseball only makes me want to make the team more. All my life, I've looked up to professional baseball players and people have made a difference. And now that I know to be like them, I have to put in the work to be successful. In every person's life, they have the capability to become great at what they dream to, but only few do what they have to to become someone great. Optimism and reality are so similar, but so different at the same time. Most kids in the world want to be become a professional athlete. I look at professional athletes like Messi and Ronaldo and realize that they came from nothing. All they had was some sort of ball they could kick. And after having nothing to do, they picked up that ball and practiced until they became what they are now. As a kid, I want to play in the MLB. And trying to get better at baseball and practicing, I could be realistic and think, well, my odds are small. Or I could be optimistic and say, if I put in the work, I could become a professional baseball player. Kids around the world practice their sports, and when that is their passion, they will become so good at it and will have the chance to go pro. Martin Luther King Jr. is a great example when it comes to optimism. In Martin Luther King's speech, I Have a Dream, he talks about segregation and how someone should put a stop to it. When Martin was alive, he wanted to take away the difference between black and white people. To make his dream come true, he made a speech which he would speak in front of thousands of people. His speech was so powerful that it greatly affected racism today. When putting yourself out into the world, people will be unhappy with your idea. This affects people who have new ideas and makes them not want to put them out into the world. These people could be optimistic about their idea, but if someone does not like it, their hopes could come crashing down. Not only do people have dreams to change the world or how they live, but people have dreams to create something new. Walt Disney was a very optimistic person. He made cartoons and ideas for television series. Walt Disney once said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Not only was he very optimistic, but he knew that he would go nowhere without putting in the work. So after years of drawing and coming up with ideas, he finally went big and created some of the world's greatest television shows and movies. In reality, if you put in the work needed to fulfill your dreams, most likely they will come true. You can't only think about something you want to do, but never actually try it. Ask any sports player how much work they put into to get into the NBA, NFL, MLB, or NHL. They will say tons of work and determination are what got me to what I am today. Blood, sweat, and tears. They gave their lives to do the sport they love, and now they do it as their careers. Although optimism and reality are different concepts, there is no line separating the two. In optimism, we believe we can do something great, when in reality, we can. In this world, everyone has the potential to be great, but only few put in the work to actually achieve greatness.